Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Yes, my brother. My name is George. From the Fox newspapers. Fox? Yeah, Fox. Mr. President, I've got only one concern for you. Yes, sir. Uh, last week, serious allegations were leveled against His Excellency the President of the Republic of Zambia, President A.N.H. Lema, that he is behind the abduction of the Fulbury family. Also, that leveled this allegation. According to her, he mentioned other senior government officials who include also Solicitor General Marshall Raji. Mr. President, the question that I have for you is when you look at the law of law and these allegations that are hovering around State House, how safe Let's look at what motivated her speech. What motivated Rachel Chileshe Katolo to go public? She explained that one, she's a woman. Two, she's a mother. Three, she knew that our sister, the president of FDD, Madam Edith Nawakwe, is ailing. But the police moved in. That is what compelled her to speak. And I want to commend Rachel for speaking out. The reason is many of us here know a lot of things which are bad. We tend to keep quiet. When you know that an injustice is being occasioned to someone else, that is the wrong attitude to have, fellow Zambians. When I was in the alliance, I asked Haga Inde Ichilema about this issue. I told him that these things hovering around you. And there was also an issue of some land where he is alleged to have bought some farms. He told me he was nowhere near this issue. He lied. Second, over the land issue, he told me that he bought this land way before this and way before that. And as far as he's concerned, all the things that he did were legit. I am not sure about that because he never showed me the contracts for me to read the dates. But he told me verbally. But coming to Faluna and Hakim, if what Rachel said is true and because she's willing to testify in court then that is a very damaging damaging position that the president finds himself in and the people mentioned the minister for southern province Mwetua, the current solicitor general Mujende, Mr. Sejani, and all the people that were involved, it's damaging. If you heard me, I said it is time for my good friend to start considering resigning. Because if things like this begin to appear, 
and there are people who are willing to testify against you and what you're doing by using law enforcement yet it is you who's behind and perpetuating or who perpetuated that crime you're not fit to hold office you're not fit to hold office I listened to what Rachel Chilesha said three times. I played, I replayed, and I played again. And I said to myself, I am hoping I'll be proved wrong. But it is the fact that she, at the end of what she was saying, she said, President, you have my number. I am challenging you. If you want, you can phone me. She was daring him. Have you heard any response from Aga Indigenum? That he called Rachel. That speaks volumes. When a woman dares you, it's like a blind man telling you She knows. She has the facts. And she was saying, I was there. She's an eyewitness. She saw, she heard. In court, I'm a lawyer, forgive me. There are two things that crucify you. One, your own admission. If you confess to a crime, yes, I did this. The, the court doesn't need any more evidence. You've confessed. But the second best evidence is an eyewitness. I saw him do this. How do you come back from that? I heard him say this, and then he went to do this. How do you come back from that? So George, the simple answer is, this is very damaging. And if I were Aga in the Ichilema, I should be firing the Minister of Southern Province. I should be firing the Solicitor General. Because Section 21 of the Penal Code has not changed from the last time I studied law when I was a student. They are accomplices to a crime, these. You can be an accomplice before or after the fact of a crime. If this happened and she's able to name them, they are accomplices at law. They're just as culpable as the principal offender. That's the law. I didn't write the law. But you're asking me to talk as a lawyer. And I'm telling you, if what Rachel Chilesha said is true, we have a guilty president sitting in state house and Haga in the Ichilema must own up. That means there was no abduction by that sick woman called Edith Nawak. None whatsoever. But what else is out of this case, just like the other case I talked about, the so-called compensation for treason, out of this case, people have been paid half a million kwacha each for what the term does force imprisonment, lawfare. George, we are using government resources, taxpayers' money, to steal because we sign consent judgments to pay people who are part of a crime. This is the kind of government we are looking at. We must be very careful as Zambians. Very, very careful as Zambians. I hope I've answered your question. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.